Now, the, uh, the big controversy, of course, is the picture. Uh, yesterday, we put it onto the BCAS right when it mm -hmm. hit Drudge. It seemed to be pretty uh, indicting, did it not? It does. I choose to believe he ogled. Now, the, uh, the story today, because, I mean, this went you know, from the, uh, the Mr. President headline mm -hmm. to the second stimulus headline to now there's a, a variety of reactions. Um, well, now you know, Obama has something else in common with Camelot, right? Well, Kennedy yeah, also a fan of the ladies. Yeah. So, and uh, what did the uh, Drudge had headlines like "Indiscreto D Obama" and "Ooh la la." <laughs> Ooh la, la. So, you know, then the, then started to come out the uh, the uh, mm -hmm. the analysis, right? So Greta looked at the video last night. Good Morning America looked at it today. In fact, I have two versions of the Good Morning America video. Okay. Right? And then you can help us decide: Did he ogle or not? All right, this is the first version. The f important thing here, this is the version that ABC put out on their website themselves. Okay. This is a photo, it's at the G8 summit, it's causing quite a buzz. Take a look at it. Appears to show President <laughs> Obama and French President Sarkozy giving a young woman a serious once over, but pictures can be deceiving. Watch the video. Seems to be a little different story. Obama may be watching his footing, maybe looking at the steps, maybe letting her pass as opposed to a checkout. Take a look. Yes. Hmm, let me let her go. Hmm, I hope I don't fall down these stairs. Sarkozy, not so clear. <laughs> not so clear. <laughs> Obama, let me help you. Let me help you, young lady. Please come down the stairs. <laughs> All right, that Here is, is what I believe. Yes, okay. I believe men are trained to be able to look without looking like they're looking. And I think that was a, let me check her out, but here is another lovely lady I can help down the stairs, and then this makes it okay. You know, I have to say, Liz Stevens, I'm actually very impressed because I, I did not know going into this what your take was going mm -hmm. to be. And I was going to, I had actually planned to say that I think that, uh, that, that men somehow are able to sometimes look without appearing to look. Mm -hmm. And I was going to make this case, and I and I actually was expecting you to say that you didn't think that men could get away with it. Because I was pre-anticipating in my mind where it would go. And I actually would thought, I was a little bit fearful about making my case because I thought that you would try to minimize it or say that you didn't really agree with that. But instead, As saying in chat, you have, it's not, you're not trained. It's just instinct. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's an instinct to survive. He's already, you know, forgotten how he met Michelle this week. Exactly. You know, that he didn't want to make it worse. I think it's like, I'm going to survive and I'm going to ogle. Yeah. And but all I would have liked it better, though, is if the Italian like, Prime Minister Berlusconi, Berlusconi was there, too, like, because it would be the three amigos, like, ooh. Right. And you can tell, like, well, that was the, the gradations um, of, of ogling. And I do agree that, that Sarkozy is a... Uh, not quite as sly about it. I'm going to get to my my slightly different second version, but this was the uh, the on Drudge they were linking to the to the uh, Herald saying, "Has he is he taking lessons from Berlusconi?" Right? Oh dear, she's young enough to be his daughter. By the way, she's 16. Mayara Tavares will no doubt be a little bemused about how she managed to grab the attention of Barack Obama. Um, and of course, you know. Um, do you think she now has this picture like printed out and framed in her? Well, she's apartment. certainly famous, right? I think <laughs> yeah. we're gonna somebody. Y she's you famous know, for climbing stairs. I'm actually yeah. stunned that nobody had her booked on one of the morning mm -hmm. shows this morning, yeah. right? Or well, that, she's officially and, done more than Paris Hilton ever did. So right. hey, she'll be getting offers to model swimsuits and, and mm -hmm. everything else. Now, they did the you know Chris Cuomo did his nice little uh, you know play by play. But I looked, and then over on the Daily Beast, they did a slightly longer clip, slightly okay. longer, which just had a little discussion out of the videotape involving Diane Sawyer and Chris Cuomo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is, you, you notice where it ended right there, where it was what exactly what ABC put on their, on their website, which was in Jake Tapper's blog that was then linked on Drudge as the big vindication of Obama. So here then, just, it's, it's, it's not a big deal, but just watch how this one plays out. This is a photo, it's at the G8 summit, it's causing quite a buzz. Take a look at it. Appears to show President <laughs> Obama and French President Sarkozy giving a young woman a serious once over. But pictures can be deceiving. Watch the video. Seems to be a little different story. Obama may be watching his footing, maybe looking at the steps, maybe letting her pass, mm. as opposed to a checkout. Take a look. Yeah. Hmm, let me let her go. Hmm, I hope I don't fall down these stairs. Sarkozy, not so clear. <laughs> Not so clear. 
<laughs> Obama, let me help you. Let me help you, young lady. Please come down the stairs. I don't know. It's, it's true, the news the at 716. It's so deceiving when you look at it. But don't you love that the, the, the French can just go like <laughs> not, if they want not to? Not to stereotype, but ooh la la. <laughs> <That's it>. Yeah. <laughs> They were so looking. Well, yeah. Now, my, but what I'm wondering here is why did they cut that part off of the official ABC part? Was there some internal thing that, that, uh, that Diane Sawyer thought that she might have, like, actually offended the French by saying, don't you love how the French... She was like, don't you love how the French can be like, you know, and Chris Cuomo was like, ooh la la. And so they cut that out. I just didn't know why. It was a minor little thing, but I thought it shows, I think there's like all of these internal uh, web politics at the networks about like, you know, what they can put out and what makes their anchors look good and what doesn't. I don't know. When I was working on the website for our ABC, uh, like affiliate. Right, exactly. There was no like, I'm going to cut out the anchor banter after. It was more like, hey, here's the hard news portion of but this, this story. A, but I'm just saying, like, when I would do that, banter. if it was, well, if there was banter after, like, that type, I oh, would often not banter. include that because it was, I was trying to get to the to the meat of the clip. And then it would also make, po- once I cut that, make it possible for other people to use it in their shows because it mm-hmm. didn't have, yeah. they, like, the morning crew right. talking about it. Like, if you wanted to use it on the noon show, then it was already cut. So yeah. I am a conspiracy theorist. There could be some sinister... Well, that's you know, a minor something thing, at, but, you know, at work, but at, my thing would be the web editor probably cut it down because they wanted to be able to use it across their blogs on right. ABC. If Jake Tapper wanted to put in his blog, he didn't necessarily want, right. you know, Diane Sawyer, you know, ad living at the end. <laughs> well, you know, and what's, what's funny, what the, uh, the odd upshot here is for the president is that the, um, this dominated, right? And I think, in fact, that this was a... Um, um, a, a drudge-driven thing. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think that there was... Um, think about that. Yeah, popped up. Because this was right off of the uh, the Yahoo photo feed, mm-hmm. right? And Drudge must have seen it, put it up. I don't think it had been anyplace else. And then it you know, did huge. And then even when sort of the denial started to come out, Drudge has left it up there. And then you could see everybody's talking about it. So here's Obama over there trying to solve world problems. And uh, everybody's just really talking about did he uh, did he mm-hmm. check out the uh, you know this teenager's rear end? Yeah, but and apparently the only time we ever have to the right to you know, interfere in the goings on in another country is when we have a moral obligation, and that only comes when there are countries like Rwanda. Right. I oh, had yeah, to turn, right. I had to turn the channel this morning when he when he was talking about uh, answering a reporter's question about when it was 